Hi guys and welcome to Heidi K Makeup. I'm going to try and film this video as quickly as possible because I have to get the kids ready for a pediatrician appointment. So I'm sorry if you hear a little bit of crying in the background. Um, I'm holding my baby right now because you got to do what you got to do. But I need to do an update on my Pan That palette for the month of May. If you're just tuning in, I'm trying to finish the entire Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette this year. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of what my palette looked like last month. And I'll have my playlist linked down below. This is what my palette looks like this month. Normally I go through every single shade and kind of tell you how we're getting along, but instead I'm just going to talk about the shades that I really focused on this month because like I said, I'm kind of in a hurry. So um, Champagne Truffle, which is this bottom corner shade, you might see a little bit of pan expansion on. Um, I've been using that as a face highlight basically all year long. Then the next shade over, which is um, Cherry Cordial, I hit pan on basically the first week. I've been wearing that in the outer V of my eyelids all year long and I stopped doing that as soon as I hit that tiny little speck of pan. Hot Chocolate was the next thing that I hit pan on, which is that third one over in the bottom row, um, that kind of shimmery brown. That was really easy because it's a very soft shade. Um, moving on, the next shade that you're going to see pan expansion on, I wasn't planning on focusing on, and it's right here, which is Marzipan. Um, I've been wearing that as a lid shade because most of the shadows that I have left that I really need to focus on, I found are all dark crease shades. So it's the only way that I could really find something that would work with the shades that I have to work on. So you're going to see pan expansion on that. I do love that shade. The shade next to it, which is that deepest matte brown, or deepest matte medium brown, which is semi-sweet. I was really hoping that I would hit pan on this month, and unfortunately I didn't. Um, so I've been wearing that in my brows, I've been wearing that as my transition shade, and I've been wearing it as my contour shade. So hopefully this month, because there is quite a substantial dip, but I didn't manage to, to hit pan on it this coming month. Um, the next three I didn't, I don't think that I did much with this month, but um, if I go over here to this top corner, I did start to dip my shade or my shadow brush into Gilded Ganache, which is the shade that kind of scares me the most in this palette. A little bit here and there, just kind of on the lower lash line, and then occasionally I would bring in a green from another shadow or from another palette and use that, um, but I didn't really focus on it. Then I've been using white chocolate, which is that top matte white every single day, basically all year long, um, as my brow bone shade. And then the only shade left that I really focused on was this black forest truffle. And I was hoping that I would hit pan on it, but there's a big dip. Um, but honestly, I haven't. I haven't been as focused on this um, palette this month. I find myself reaching for my Stila liquid eyeshadow a lot lately as my all-over lid color and then just dipping into that Black Forest Truffle and putting it in my crease in order to have something to use because I'm getting a little impatient with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. So I'm hoping that next month I will have a little bit more focus and my hope is that by next month, because I only have three shades left that I haven't hit pan on, I'm hoping that I will at least have hit pan on Black Forest Truffle and Semi Sweet, and I would really love to hit pan on Gilded Ganache, but um, if I haven't yet, um, I want to have a substantial dip in it, because we're getting towards the middle of the year, and I really, by summer, would like to have all of these have pan hit on them so that then I can focus on completely finishing up the whole palette. So anyways, that's my super duper quick update this month. Normally I do go a little bit longer, but as you can see, I've got a fussy baby and I've got a bunch of stuff to do. Um, if you want to see more, more of me, I've been posting a lot of stuff on the fish channel lately. I know that a lot of you guys probably aren't into fish, which is why it's in a separate channel, but um, I also know that a lot of you guys are big fans of animals, so um, you can definitely check out that channel. That's Heidi's Fish Tank, which I will link down below. And um, I gotta get going because I gotta pack up the diaper bag and get everything ready. Um, if you guys didn't see my last video, I have an update for you guys. First off, I dyed my hair, but I missed a couple sections, so I need to do it again. But I do feel a lot better since it's been colored. I went shopping this weekend and I got some new tops that make me feel not like a total bum. I really, really like them. Um, and yesterday, so my husband and I have started doing um, one day a week that he completely takes over the kids in the evening and I can go 
do whatever. So yesterday I joined a gym, which I'm very excited about. Um, it has yoga and a pool and childcare. Um, so we talked about it for a while and I've been kind of like fighting it because we didn't want to budget for it. But basically Ken said, let's consider this instead of trying to think of it as like an optional thing, let's think of it as like a health cost. And if we can save that money by not getting sick because of our health, because we're working out, it's worth it for us. So I'm very excited because we'll have childcare, which I think that I'm going to probably be working out a lot just so I can shower by myself at the gym. That sounds wonderful. So, um, what are you looking for? Is this what you want? So yay for those things. Um, anyways, I have to get going. My child needs to eat breakfast, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Ah! If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the rest of my Panda Palette updates. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.